Alex. And I'm Tash. And welcome to Watch Trending, your end of the week roundup of all the biggest topics to be trending all over your social media. Coming up on today's show, I'll be getting creative and a little bit messy in the What's Trending kitchen in another episode of the Pinterest Test. And things get a little bit deeper when I join in with YouTube's Dear Me campaign to, de to deliver a letter to a teenage me. I jump on the bandwagon and finally have a go at Sims 4. And we'll be chatting about some of the biggest pop culture news stories and deciding where we think they belong on the Watch Trending Board of Trends. But first, it's that time of the week again where I turn to Pinterest to find some of the most popular pins and have a go to see if they really are as easy as they make out. Now, part one of this week's challenge is on our website at www.whatstrendingtv.com. And spoiler alert, things didn't exactly go to plan. So let's as see always. if I have any better luck with making some lovely decorative marbled eggs. I'm going to make some marbled eggs. Now, Pinterest, don't let me down, okay? So, what you're going to need is some shaving foam, but the foam kind, not the gel to foam. Um, you're going to need some eggs. I've got some, these are slightly blue, but they're gonna work perfectly. You need white or really pale colored eggs. And you're also gonna need some food coloring. So I've got blue, green, and lovely pink, so. All you need to do, this is pretty simple, so hopefully, fingers crossed, it won't go wrong. Shaving foam, bowl. <laughs> I was expecting something more epic. Eh! Oh. Okay, so just put, fill the bowl up. You need quite a lot because we need to cover the eggs, so. And just, oh, it smells lovely. It smells like, it smells like a freshly shaven man. <laughs> Don't you just love that sound? <laughs> so yeah, very nice, very nice, bit wobbly. So we're gonna put the food colour in now. Okay. We're gonna start off with blue. Oh, try not to get it all over yourself. So just just a few drops. <laughs> or a glug. <laughs> Whatever you feel is best. Um then I've got some green. in there and then <laughs> try and get some pink if you can everybody loves a bit of colour now I think that you have to mix it up together a bit but I'm just going to use my fingers because um, that's what God gave us fingers for okay just mix it together a bit oh wow it looks like unicorn poo. Mmm. And you take your lovely egg and you're going to dip it. And not just dip it, you're going to drop it in. Oh. And you're going to use your spoon. And you're going to twirl the egg. Oh gosh, that feels good. The egg is covered. Okay, so we're going to put that on. Oh, you can see it turning colours already. So put that on the kitchen towel. What you need to do is wash your hands and whilst you're washing your hands your eggs will set and we're going to come back in around 10 to 15 minutes and we're going to have something special and spectacular I'm sure of it see you in 10 <laughs> not the most glamorous job but all's fair in love and war as they say not about eggs, but, okay. Oh, look at that one. Could have probably done with a bit more color. So, my lovely marbled eggs were a success, as you can see. Um, they probably could have done with a bit more color, as they do look a bit of a teal shade, but I know that's in with all the kids now, Kylie Jenner. Just put them on the end of my hair. Yeah, try these at home, it's really fun, um, a bit messy, so make sure you've got lots of utensils, cleaning utensils to clear up after. Um, but yeah, join us again next week to see another Pinterest test. Maybe it will be a fail, or maybe it will be a success. See you next week. Bye! 
So how did you find that? I thought it went pretty well, if you ask me. Like you're having fun? The only thing I would say is make sure you put lots of different colours in because they yes. turned out looking kind Predominantly of... kind of blue, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. But I like the whole... How did the shaving foam thing work? That really intrigued me. It smelled so good. Oh, did it? But you just have to make sure you use the foam, shaving foam, and not the gel one. Because yeah, it because it doesn't work no. properly. But you just put it in the bowl, as you've seen from the VT, and it gets really messy. So make sure you've got a towel to hand. Some Easter fun tips for the, you guys. <laughs> so next up, I join in with the celebration of International Women's Day by having a go at doing my very own Dear Me video where I deliver some home truths to my teenage self. Here we go. Hi guys, it's me, Tishan, and today we're going to be taking part in the YouTube Dear Me campaign. Now the campaign was set up by YouTube in aid of International Women's Day and basically consists of prominent female YouTube stars taking part in short videos in which they give advice to their younger selves. So we here at What's Trending thought that we'd give it a go too. So here's a few of my personal Dear Me's. Dear Me, there's honestly no such thing as normal so stop being afraid to just be you, just let go. It's not that scary, you know the music that you like, the clothes that you like, they make you you and the other girls, that's them. They're like a little flock and you are alone on your own but that's great and be happy about it and people will, you know, learn to love you as you are. Dear Me, get out of bed and stop saying that you can't because it's not going to get you anywhere. Believe me, lying in until 2, 3 o'clock is just a waste of time. And once you get up and you become a morning person, you're going to love it. You'll change your life, I promise you. Dear Me, get out of bed and get on with it and stop saying that you can't. The hours and hours lying in, just sitting there, looking at the clock, time ticking away. You're just wasting precious time. You could be doing something great. And trust me, once you do eventually get up, you feel so much better. And the early mornings are really, really worth it. So just find motivation. Dear me, don't worry so much about your body and stop comparing yourself and appreciate yourself. The girls in the magazines, the girls on TV, that's never going to be you and they're probably not happy either and that's probably all fake as well. So just look at yourself in the mirror and, you know, just smile for once because you're great just as you are. So that was a few of my Dear Me's and I hope you found them useful and helpful. Um, info is up on the screen right now if you guys want to tweet in your own Dear Me's and the website info is up. And I will see you back in the studio in just a tick. Goodbye. Oh, how did you find it? I really, really enjoyed that. I mean, it felt so kind of, like I made a connection with my younger self, which was strange because mm. it wasn't actually there, but it was nice, you know. It was very empowering. To kind of, yeah. yeah. It felt very empowering and to think of who I was then to who I am now, yeah. talking to that person, and a lot of girls were in that position, you no know, younger, kind of growing up. They need that advice, really. Yeah, I feel like girls, especially young girls, need that empowerment and the being shown what to do and 100%. that everything's going to be okay. Definitely. So please send in your own personal Dear Me's, tweet them in or send them to the website. Okay, now it's time for something a lot of you have been asking for. I have a go at Sims 4. So jealous. Now, Tash and I were supposed to be doing this together, but unfortunately she was ill when we filmed. So that means I got to play all by myself, which to be honest was fine by me. Enjoy. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to What's Trending and today I'm going to be doing a gaming challenge. Now today unfortunately Tashan can't be here because she's ill, get well soon. Um, so I'm going to be doing it all on myself which I'm looking forward to because I love Sims. Now everybody seems to be doing the Sims 4 games at the moment um, from PewDiePie to Zoella so why aren't I going to have a go? I am! Let's get cracking shall we? Okay, so <laughs> to start off with, we have a man, but obviously I'm a girl, so let's change it to the female. Um, oh, okay, female. Oh, snazzy. Okay, so at the moment, I need to change the skin colour because this is going to be me and I love that colour. Okay, so body. Oh, Karen. Oh. Sound a bit darker than that. I'll go for the chocolate complexion. Okay, so. Okay, I'm going to be a bit modest with the sizing on this, you know. <laughs> go for the Kim K look. <laughs> okay, ooh. Okay, that's, that's a bit better. Or do I go for. Oh, you know, I've always wanted to be a green sim. Oh, God, they've got blue. Oh, gosh. <laughs> no, okay, okay, here we go. Okay, here he comes. Oh wait, oh he might be a bit young for her. <laughs> Toy boy.
I think I've just got rejected. <laughs> uh, Emmanuel's rude. Okay, come on. We don't need him. You're a strong, independent woman. Come on. These look like fun people. Wait, is that death? Oh my god, let's talk to the Grim Reaper. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed watching me play The Sims as much as I enjoyed playing it. Um, let us know what you thought, um, you can tweet us or Facebook us on our pages. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and now back to the studio. That was really fun. You looked like you it. were having an absolute blast. I had such a good time, but there are some things that I do need to say. So three good things about Sims 4. Um, I used to play Sims a lot when I was younger. Mm. Sims 2 is my favorite, shout out to Sims 2. Um, but the graphics were really good. Mm -hmm. um, the graphics were really good, the music was good, and the creating the, the Sims was my well, favourite part. There was a lot of options yeah, as well, weren't there? Options. Body, body wise and, yeah. yeah, I like that. Um, and the things that I didn't like was that it was pretty slow. Okay. Mm. Um, the loading screens weren't great in between waiting after the creating The Sims. And also, The Sims are more independent now. You can't boss them around They as are much. their own people, yeah. you're just there to watch over them, I guess. <laughs> That part of the show where Tash and I speak about some of the week's biggest news stories that have been taking over all of your various social media. As always, how big of a trend it was or how much attention it received doesn't decide how high it goes on the What's Trending Board, board of, of Trends. trends. Booyah, look Here at it that. Is. Right here. It's amazing. That depends on how interesting or cool me and Tash find it, which can sometimes lead to a good old fashioned bust up. Now we again. all remember the great Zayn Malik catastrophe from a couple of weeks ago. Let's not go back there, <laughs> but that is right. And first up, I have got the birth of the Royal right. Baby herself. The little baby princess is known officially as, royal, as Her Royal Highness Princess Charlotte of Cambridge, and she's received massive media attention all over the world in the days leading up to and the days following her birth. The fact is that you couldn't get away from Princess Charlotte even if you wanted to, but the only question now is where we think she should go on the board. I don't think she should go very high because I think it's only a baby. I don't even like one born every minute. So. Do you think, do you know what? I'm going to say higher though. I think quite high because obviously really? it's quite a big deal. She's a princess. She's cute. She's a okay. girl. It's a prince. She's, she, she could be queen. Okay, but not too high. Because mm. what's this? Oh, oh Madonna. Definitely higher than Madonna and Drake. No. Come on. You okay. think it's that low? Come on. Let's okay. just give her a little right, bit of. Right. Let's just at least put her here. If I must. There we go. There we go. That's fair. Okay, now my topic of the week is the hottest things to hit the app store since Flappy Bird. The brand new, wait for it, my, my idol. idol. The Japanese app takes a photo of your face and pastes it onto the little digital body that can make you do just about anything Weirdest you want. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to put mine up on the screen for you all to have a little look, no laughing. There I am, loving life, having a great time and a little boogie. Oh, Beyonce. <laughs> One of the reasons this has been such a hit is because when the picture gets applied to the body, it doesn't get distorted. So it tends to be pretty, pretty good in likeness on how it looks. So not only can you make a little one of yourself, you can also do one of your favorite celebrity or fictional characters. Now Up it's time for us to decide whereabouts we think it should go. Well, I found it really weird. It, I just, it creeped me out so much. But it's a, it's, it's a pole dancing app. Why wouldn't you like that? A bit inappropriate for kids. I suppose. Okay, but I do think it's good and it everybody good. has been talking about it. All right, let's go, for a, let's go for a secure medium. Okay, maybe just a bit higher than mm, medium. Okay. <laughs> and also, weird. speaking of high topics, we've got the Kylie Jenner lip challenge. Now, everybody has been going absolutely crazy Everyone. for this. Um, Kylie Jenner is such a top topic at the moment and people love her lips so also to speak about lips they've been going really wrong have you really, seen some, some people's on lips i mean you've got people that have got huge lips already and it's just like like yeah. this but beach ball and going some people's, on um lips they've broken them on the glass so i think this is quite i feel high. like this is quite dangerous yeah I feel like this is kind of health safety issue. At home. 
But oh. it was it was trending, so zoom it up to here. Yeah, put it up the top. Yeah. Okay. Good. Boom. Good shout. Now it looks like we have about time for just one more topic. So the last topic of today's episode is gonna be drum roll please. Mm. The dum, Met dum, Gala. <laughs> and the Met Gala is an annual fundraising event for the Metropolitan Museum in New York. And one of the main focuses on the event is fashion, with many of the celebrity guests turning up in the most outlandish outfits possible, trying to outdo each other on the red carpet, as they do, which always draws the attention of Twitter. And in recent years, it's almost seemed like a challenge to see who can get their outfit to trend for the longest. Every year, there's a theme for the gala in an attempt to give the guests some sort of guidance. And this year's theme was China through the looking glass. Not sure what that means, a little bit abstract, but it looks like some of the celebs were a bit confused. Uh, with Katy Perry attending in a graffiti covered ball gown, wow. SJP turned up looking like a super villain, and Rihanna went dressed in what looks like an oversized pancake. <laughs> so, where are we going to say the Met Gala is going on the board? Okay, so it is pretty high. Everyone has it is been talking about it. It is a little bit banana shaped. Um, yeah, she looks like a yeah. banana, not a pancake. Yeah, you can peel that. Um, it's still edible. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say, say Met Gala was pretty highly talked of. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, let's put Met Gala up here, though, just for the crazy outfits yeah. and the, the, the attention, really. Okay. So that's all we have time for this week. And if you have anything to say about the topics covered in today's show, please don't hesitate to send us a tweet or Facebook us. Please do. And don't forget to check out the website as well if you want to see Alice's cookie dough disaster, rewatch any of today's videos, or just chat about the show in our forum. So that's it for today, guys, and we'll see you all next time. Bye! Bye.